So I study plastic pollution, which a lot of people have heard called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch or the plastic vortex or this plastic island. A lot of people have heard it's the size of Texas. Um, a lot of these things are true. The thing about this that is not true is it's not an actual island. You can't walk on it. It's not as thick as an island. You can sail through it. Um, I was just actually out there in October sailing from Seattle to Honolulu and you can very much sail through it. It looks like open ocean, um, but everywhere you look, there are pieces of plastic. So there are nets and tires and plastic bottles around. So it's very much a polluted area, but it's not as dense as a lot of people want to imagine it is. And I think um, that idea came about maybe because there shouldn't be any plastic out there. And so when people went out there the first time and saw any plastic, they just couldn't fathom how dirty it was and so then this idea kind of came about like oh my gosh it's almost an island worth of plastic and that idea kind of caught on in the media but what it really is is an area where the currents kind of go in the pacific in a circle almost like a sink drain and so if you're thinking of it like a drain they kind of go up they go from south to north by asia and then they go from uh, north to south by uh, North America and they literally just go in a circle and so it's like a sink drain but there's no drain so it's literally just getting trapped in the middle it's like an eye of a storm and they just get stuck there in the middle so the plastic just sits out there and it ages by the sun and by the wave turbulence and just gets into smaller and smaller pieces and so what I study is the really small stuff when a plastic bottle kind of breaks down into tiny uh, confetti sized pieces and how those confetti sized pieces get eaten by fish and by plankton.